and there is no overtaking until they get to the first safety car line which is there and that is why Alonso fancied a bit of a look and Vettel's gone too deep into the corner Alonso's right behind him still so uh, they could overtake into that final corner and Vettel knew that but so did Alonso Alonso goes to the right Vettel has the turning point to the corner though and uh, behind him we got a McLaren right to up alongside and he touched Weber is round Mark Weber and that's Lewis Hamilton so Mark Webber keeps the engine running, he'll fall almost to the back of the field. And it was uh, Hamilton getting right up the inside of him. He's always in the wars, is Lewis. Vettel nearly outbreaks up, and there then is the contact behind between Hamilton and Webber. And uh, Webber and Hamilton under investigation for that first corner. And will Lewis Hamilton get another drive-through penalty? What do you think? Well, I think in that case, there's no question as we see him. Oh, oh to no, McLaren's touch! That is, uh, well, Lewis Hamilton obviously with suspension damage, puncture. I'd be surprised if he makes it round to back into the pits. But the problem in those conditions is Jensen Button can't see in his mirrors. There's so much spray coming off the front axle that any visibility you have is just cancelled. So Lewis comes off the uh, last chicane much, much faster. Jensen's making his way on what is the normal line. And it was the merest of touch, wasn't it? Look how hard it's raining, David. It is now, yeah. So Inters are now a liability. It is a red flag situation. The race is effectively suspended. Vettel's bolted. He's going for it. He doesn't want Kobayashi anywhere near him. What are they going to do when they get down to turn one? Will Felipe Massa have a chance to take back that position? He's got the inside, but Kobayashi has got a better line and he breaks later too. He just gauges his braking and they're going to be so close into two. Great driving from Kobayashi. Sensible for Massa in getting out of it. Mark Webber you see there in seventh place. Fernando Alonso's beats the Ferrari in, uh, where is that? Is that That's the second uh, chicane? Yeah. It's in uh, turn three, I think. Look, and Button's got a puncture. I wonder then if uh, Jensen Button and Fernando Alonso got together somewhere. Now, let's have a look at this. So yes, it was Button up the inside of Alonso. Alonso didn't want to yield and uh, contact. Well, That's Jensen's second contact of the afternoon. The McLaren of Button, who is in the pits. So it's four pit stops and a drive through for Button. This is Massa side by side with Kobayashi for second place. And Michael Schumacher looks like he's gone past a pair of them. So lots of action then and an absolutely wild oversteer there. So Schumacher has passed Massa and Kobayashi and uh, surely emerges in second place in the Grand Prix now. This is where it all went wrong for Kobayashi. He's gone wide in turn eight. Contact there with Massa. Michael Schumacher sneaks up the inside while they're busy watching each other and takes second place in the Grand Prix. We've got a damaged uh, nose, the uh, front wing there on mm. Felipe Massa as Mark Webber goes through and is setting fastest sector after fastest sector, cars off all over the place as they're trying to find grip on their tyres. Well, here we are on the exit of turn seven and uh, he gets out onto the water and of yeah. course on the slick tyres he's just aquaplaned. Yeah. And now he's having trying to get past an HRT. Schumacher's closed the gap to Vettel by two seconds on that lap. Vettel extremely cautious on his first flying lap. The problem is now the damp patch is offline, David. Yeah, getting offline, as we've seen from uh, uh, Felipe oh, Massa. Oh, no, he's going to touch He's broken his front wing. This is, it's like none of these guys know where their front wing is. Oh, oh. right. There's he's, a surprise. Uh, thankfully, one of the areas on the track where there is a runoff area, that he was able to go down. It'll be interesting to see if Kobe Ashley's got any damage to the rear of his car. Those two in the slipstream. And, uh, well, we saw Michael, was it last year, where he just knocked the front and wing? Weber and Weber misses the corner again. Oh, oh, he's nearly lost it. Weber nearly loses it, and a Button sails past him, somehow finding enough grip. So Mark Weber pushing his luck. Vettel leads Schumacher by 3.8 from now uh, Jensen Button. Jensen feeling particularly punchy by the looks of it. As he, if he's within one second as he exits this corner across that line now, he gets the advantage of the rear wing and it will pop open when they go over this next line and surely he's got a great chance of coasting past what Schumacher's looking in his mirror. Button goes the long way round. Is he ahead of him? Yes, he is. 
Button up into second place. This race is not over for the win, and it's certainly not over for the last step on the podium. Vettel watching in the mirror, the rear wing closed, but we're wondering if there's any, and in the background, Schumacher defending hard against Weber. Schumacher defending incredibly hard, and uh, Weber's through. Weber's through, can he keep it on the road this time? He does indeed, Schumacher drops down to fourth place. Jensen Button driving for his life, driving for the victory. Has Vettel got what it takes to hold him off? I think Vettel's got wide. Yeah, he's got wide. He turned in too late, he got the tyres, Button leads the Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel turned in with his tyres just touching the waters, the final lap of the Grand Prix. And Jensen Button, after an awful afternoon with so many things going wrong for him, leads this amazing Canadian Grand Prix. Jensen Button into the pit straight. He wins a brilliant race. It's a sensational drive for Button. What a victory. And Vettel limps home in second place. He will be angry with himself. It's unlike him. And Weber then will be the second Red Bull on the podium. Only just ahead of Michael Schumacher. Look at that. Schumacher, sadly I have to say, does not get on the podium. But still a brilliant fourth. And we've got uh, Massa and Kobayashi still fighting then over sixth and seventh places. He'll get the run off the corner, but he's got his DRS. Has he got enough with Kers? Is he going to do it? He does indeed, by the looks of it. He got over there yes. just in front of Kobayashi. Massa, picks up sixth place. Yeah, well spotted, David. Massa then takes sixth, literally. <laughs> Doesn't make the, the next line. corner. Surely one of the finest races of his life and the best Grand Prix of his spectacular career. A well-earned drink of the winner's champagne.